Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are finally back again with Danganronpa 2. So, quick little thing before we get started, but we are going to be going through a bit of a schedule change. So, from here until, like, the beginning of March, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday uploads are going to be hitting around 2.30ish, and they might be, I don't know, around, like, 10 minutes shorter than usual. It's just a temporary thing, but, you know, we'll get through it. So, okay, we're back in with Danganronpa 2, and last time we unlocked the Grape Tower, where we discovered this wonderful statue of Sakura Ogre and stuff, and she seems to be holding something up, but she is missing whatever she be holding up. And we found another room back over at Strawberry Tower that has, like, a killer clown, and apparently, according to legend, there is some kind of mystical weapon in there. And I'm thinking we get that weapon, we put it in Sakura's hand, and we can all get out of here, okay? And everything but until we can do that as I'm assuming yeah we're basically trapped in here without any food or water and so you know Monica was trying to be all like hey you guys kill each other you get out of here and everything but you know I'm thinking there's another way I'm thinking that this is our other way out other than that basically the majority of the episode was spent talking about how grape tower and strawberry tower are probably won and so we left Chiaki's uh, notebook over there in the middle of the tower thing to see if it will remain in there when we go over to Strawberry Tower. So let's go ahead and head over to Strawberry Tower. All right, bye, Pylon. I see, I see. I must say, this elevator is rather quiet. It is like the Toad's Wart. Oh, wait, never mind. Hey, hey. Toad's Wart? Wait, no, that's Foo Foo. Toad's Wart? What's she talking about? Um. It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems like we're moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly uh. close. If the to two towers are connected in the middle, the distance between them shouldn't be that much. I feel like there's a trick to this elevator. Like, I'm not sure what it is. All right, let's head over to Strawberry Tower. This is gear butts and gear. See, this is the final dead room. There's a mystical weapon in there. I bet that mystical weapon belongs to that statue. Everybody cool? Everybody fine? Any Anything you guys want to say, Fufu? Without I don't anything? like this. Uh, creating this complicated building just to make us kill doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense when it comes to Monokuma. You just you haven't been paying attention, have you? Uh, Nakamaru! Oh. Now then, let's get going and go confirm it. Alright, fine, everybody just wants to go to the tower. I don't need to talk to you butts, except for Gundam. Hi, Gundam! <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's see what result awaits us. Have you fiends made up your mind? Don't forget to pray to your god. Well, it's not like I have a god to pray to anyway. I already Gundam know, Tanaka. god has been wiped out by my very own hands! Damn, Gundam. <laughs> Getting a little dark there, buddy. Chucky, anything from you? Hey, hey. If we go inside Strawberry Tower from the door in Strawberry Hall, and if my handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same building. Indeed we can! So let's figure it out. If you press the button next to the door, you should- Oh, I have hey, to actually hey. press the button? Then I'll press it. Thank Stay. you, Chucky. Wait! Step aside, you fiends! What? what? The necessary of evil, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Uh, take one from the team? Go what? by four dark devas of destruction! Oh, sorry. Pierce through, Supernova Silver Fox Sunday. I thought he was still talking, doing his little rent thing. Why, why do the hamsters have to press? Choo choo! <laughs> I press the button, that's adorable. <laughs> Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. <laughs> Soon the door of destiny shall open. Oh. Wow, amazing! Your hamsters are truly skilled! So you have I appeared. see your eyes manage to follow Sandy's movements. As expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. Aww, are they getting- Aww. Amazing! Amazing, truly amazing! You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Oh my god, this is getting adorable. <laughs> So cute. Huh? See, you didn't need to bother making your hands different. So he was showing off for Sonia. Oh my god, I am in love. <laughs> mm. Just as I thought, it's taking a while to open. Mm. 
Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. At that moment, I heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. Dun dun dun! <gasps> and there is the notebook. So it's all good! <laughs> My! Ah, oh, look over there! The moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonia raised her voice. When I looked where she was pointing, the e handbook! It lies there! It's there, the e handbook! So, confirmed. Yep. Yep, there's no doubt. This is my student handbook. <gasps> if the handbook Shiaki left in Grape Tower is here, then that means <laughs> it seems that we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Brilliant! <laughs> Then, that, that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears it's connected to Grape House's Grape Hall. Indeed this it is. is. Troubling. But it also means that we have no idea where the exit hey. is. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> oh my god, what if it's under the statue? Well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you've already uncovered a secret like this. Because I'm so certain that that, you know, secret weapon has to do with Sakura's statue and that's our way out somehow. So, like, trap door thing. Like, that's been in movies before, right? Oh, wait, did I skip that? Oh, wrong button. Did I skip what he said there? Uh... No, I think I said that. Um, as expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really pull through for us. Yeah, way to be a dick, doggy. However, <laughs> however, why was the building designed so strange? You're so evil! There's probably no reason for it. It's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Hmm. Um, who are you again? That's... I'm Monomi! Why did you forget about me? Because she doesn't like you. It doesn't make any sense to me either. That reminds me, whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? Um, what do you mean? According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my, huh? Is it that time already? Damn it. Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Yeah, Monokuma, what's Monokuma that about? Wait. Allow me to answer. I mean, we do have the monitor still. Every single day up until now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on the island. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. You guys? Did you guys mistake me for some kind of petty alarm cock? Or pretty alarm cock, my bad. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's solely true that I'm pretty, but... <laughs> uh, hey, what are you trying to say? <laughs> for the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside, and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. <laughs> Also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, what's wrong with them? Well, if there's no announcements, we can just look at the clock. Um, Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in the first floor lounges. But aren't they weird clocks? <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. Yeah, that's right. You have the clock thingy. We can just ask you. <laughs> And it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. You're always sleepy, Chiaki. Uh, since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments? Um, each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Let me guess, boys go to Grape House, girls stay in Strawberry House? Yes. Defining it along gender-specific colors. Except they're not really, but still. Yes, let's do that. Man. That's a bummer, but, well, I guess it makes this sense. This, too, Then ladies the first. Now then, let us begin. Now then, kittens, choose which house you would like. Mm. Kittens. <laughs> Uh, let's choose Grape House. Hey, Chiaki! Break it down that gender barrier that I was setting up for you. <laughs> let's choose Grape House. Starting us uh, at a red room is just going to strain my eyes. Staring at a red room. Sorry. Oh! Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. 
<laughs> also, each house has guest rooms of varying quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to decide those next, huh? Let's draw straws. Oh wait, no, Nagi has the rig straws. <laughs> but uh, there are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. <laughs> then that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, of course. But, I mean, Nakamura, you're, you're a robot. It's not going to bother your comfort if you stay in the crummy room, man. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun. And the results? Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. I ended up winning so easily. You fucking lucky bastard. That's right. I totally forgot that Nagi is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. <laughs> Are you, Gundam? It's decided you two will get the deluxe room. Now then, I've gotten the third one. <laughs> it's me. I will be resting in the standard room. That is so unfair. Damn right. Uh, me and Kazuichi are next. Man. So I get the crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. <laughs> Douche. That's unfortunate, Haji. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Guys. <laughs> hey. Hey, how about you Grape House girls? Did you all make your rooms as well? Yep. Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion and sell things smoothly. <laughs> Wait, okay, just making sure. Sonia and I have the deluxe rooms, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. Well, can I just take one of the, the, the... Can I just go to the standard room on your side? I mean, I'm not going to, like, barge in on you guys. I'm just... I'm Haji. Just... Old, regular, mysterious Haji. No? Okay, fine. <laughs> huh? Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. Like that. It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my home. Well, that's depressing. Um, so, there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Haji, if you would like, please use one of them. Yay! Bless you, Sonia. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! You, you can't do that! Oh, my! Why not? Well... I, I mean, it's dangerous. Haji might be the traitor, you know. Fuck you, Soda. Um... What are you saying? Miss Sonia? W what am I? Ha, <laughs> ha, so... Uh, we haven't doubted Haji at all. Like... Even I don't think he'd try to trick us. Oh, my God! The girls are in my corner! <laughs> <laughs> It seems that you're the only one who thought Haji is suspicious. Hey! Oh, everybody, really? Really? Of all the people, you're going to say that. You're really going to say right? that. Haji, you can use one of the leftover rooms. Thank you. I'll feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh, uh, now then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Aw, oh, man. It's... Like, it doesn't matter, it make any sense. Ah, uh, poor Soda. If only he wasn't such an asshole. And so, all the guys except me ended up staying the night at the second floor of Strawberry House. And all the girls, plus my leftover self, stayed on the second floor of Grape House. Monami? Jeez, uh, just as I thought, I was forgotten. Nobody cares about you, Monomi. I mean, I do, but still. <laughs> well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> you're, you're just... Okay. Why was that necessary? <laughs> so this is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. Uh, what do you mean? Um, you see, Strawberry House is... A quadrilateral, but Grape House is hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure think about petty stuff, huh? Sleepy. Ah, oh, so sleepy. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? Yo! Then the two rooms at the front of the cra are the crappy rooms, right? Haji, you use the room next to the lounge. Then... So, the standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy pie. I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's faces. You don't really need to draw our faces, but the nameplates might be a good idea. Good night. Good night. Um, after reaching the limit of her sleepiness, Chalky staggered over to her good deluxe day. room. Now then, I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> ah, good night. See you tomorrow. After exchanging good nights, everyone went... 
keep out. Hey, it's the thing I was seeing! <laughs> Everyone went into their guest rooms. I should get some sleep too. Um, I think I was inside the crummy room that's next to the lounge. Okay, I'm just going to save real quick, just for safety precaution reasons. And then we are going to go check this thing out. Because you were in my white space of hell. You were in my punishment zone. What are you? What's so special about this area that we have to keep out of it, huh? We also got some wine glasses and a wine bottle and martini glass. More keep outs. So weird. Can I, can I go explore or do I have to go? I should get some sleep for today. All right, fine, fine. Okay, I get, so, I get why Monokuma is, like, not giving us the time and everything. He's trying to fuck with our heads some more, you know? Like, people lose track of time while in here. They'll just get more anxious and crazy about everything. And I'm getting the feeling, especially with the whole, oh, you know, uh, this room will be unoccupied. No matter what, this particular room is super unoccupied. But something's going to be going down with this room here. So I'm thinking with all the suspicion being placed on Haji by Soda and stuff, that, uh, there's going to be a murder going down, so... Hopefully! It sucks, because I- I'm- Oh, golly, it sucks, because we got Chiaki, we got Sonya, we got Akani, and everything, and I'm just- I don't want any of those three to die, but I'm thinking that's probably what's about to happen. Okay, so we're the one next to the lounge, right? That should be right. Grape house, corner room. Duns. What was that? <laughs> this is a surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I will definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. Super good? Super good! Monokuma Theater. Oh, it's like, is it Morse code? Or Braille or something? No, Morse code, right? Shoot, I wish I knew to Morse code. The truth, I'm out of ideas. This concludes the Monokuma Theater Morse code edition. <laughs> if only I knew the dashes and dots. It's morning already. Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there and see what time it is. I can't remember. Did I get all my Monokuma dolls? I feel like I got a lot before. I don't know. There's probably going to be more Monokuma dolls. Let's explore. Ah, oh, no. Of course. We should check out the lounge first and see what time it is. Beep, 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 beep. The clock's upside down over here. Is the portrait any different? Alright. I have to go and step inside the lounge. Let's see. The time is 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend the time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to! Finally! Where it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. <laughs> the time has come! After so long! So much time just spent waiting and waiting. We will finally be able to befriend the Fufu. To Strawberry House away! <laughs> where is he? You tell me where he is, Nekimaru. I have been waiting for this day. <laughs> oh my goodness. The time. Time, there it is! Oh, there's a room! Okay, now you're out here. Okay, I hope he's in his room. You know something I just thought about? I had so many, like, food-based item presents and stuff. Like, we, we could totally survive here for a bit longer with all the crap that I have if we just rationed it. But, you know what? It's cool. Foo-foo! You in there, buddy? There he is! The time has come for us to be friends, Fufu! Damn it! How much longer do we have to stay in this place? I feel like it's going to make me rot to death. What should I do? 
shall I invite Popo to hang out? <laughs> so long. <laughs> yeah, sure, that doesn't sound awful. Yay! <laughs> I spent time talking to Foo Foo. Ah, oh, looks like Foo Foo and I finally grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Most definitely! I was told to give him antique dolls, I believe. Long ago, when I was still able to read comments. <laughs> Let's see. Queen Street Jacket, Fresh Bind Eggs, blah blah blah. I don't remember what the damn thing is. I have somebody guess here. Uh, I have an antique doll around here somewhere. There it is! Five of them. That should be more than enough, right? A porcelain doll. Foo Foo, you like this? Me? Th this is an item this rare. It's impossible to snag, no matter how many strings you pull. Oh my god, he reminds me of Bia. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Haji! In the name of the Kuzu- for my fucking clan! I definitely owe you one! Oh my god! It's like... Beam, except not, because he's nice! Holy crap, look at that smile. Hey, Foo Foo, how's that wound on your stomach doing? You know, when you went all crazy and was like, Yeah, forgive me, this let me stab myself to death, that thing? Huh? Uh, it, it's fine, nothing to worry about. I thought you'd say that. You must have an abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that, you crazy little munchkin. Uh, then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. <laughs> that makes me wonder, does he have tattoos? Uh, I just have Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. There's nothing special about it. Strong about it, my bad. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was in the hospital. Like, maybe this is all a dream. A dream, huh? How great would that be? Ah, sorry, obviously you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Well, <laughs> That's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up till now. As long as I'm burdened with the clan name, I'll always be dealing with the mountain of bodies. Jeez. But you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who lived honest lives bumping each other off like this. <laughs> this guy has always known violence and death. I see, he's used to it, but he feels pity for us. How cute. Huh. Are you scared to talk to me? No, you're adorable! <laughs> huh? Jeez. There's no need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everybody. How could anybody treat that baby face with caution? Hey. The world is a barbaric place, especially my world. Everyone I know tries to sell things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. <laughs> my old man likes to say, predators are always stronger than their prey. He's a hothead. Even if it's just a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. Does he take your fingers? You seem to have all yours, I don't think you've done anything. And when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. <laughs> Being a Yakuza means you can't even kill the man you love to get your point across. Huh. I've been hearing stuff like that since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around me. <laughs> That's pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in couldn't be more different. Oh, here we go. Oh, our worlds are so different. Like... Thing. There were a few times where I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights. But whenever something like that happened, Pekka was always there by my side. Did your parents, like, have clan wars? Like... What was... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I made you remember something painful. Huh? Well, you don't need to apologize for that, you strange bastard. But still, I'm, right I'm the rightful successor of the clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> By the time I was in the second grade, I didn't even cry if I lost a fight. I, I see. Good for you. Hey, bastard. Good for me. Don't treat me like a kid. <laughs> How can I not? Uh, I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not much, but I am starting to get to know Fufu a little better. Oh. Yay, we got a hope fragment. Hope fragment, hope fragment. After talking to Fufu about some other things, I parted ways with him and returned to my room. No, you get your ass back out there and befriend him some more. Um, there should be time for me to move around more freely. Yay, more free time! Oh, we're just gonna get all that foo-foo action. This isn't even your room, this is a lounge. Get your shit straight, Haji. Alright, it's gone down there. Ah, oh, so adorable. But yeah, I wonder if he's actually, like, completely tattooed under that. Because he has the, you know, business suit thing going. You know. And from my understanding, most Yakuza's tend to have, like, that full body tattoo thing going. Hmm. I don't know, he seems to be like, oh, I'm a dangerous person, but I just can't see it. Like, look at that face, he's so adorable. 
Then maybe he is actually dangerous. Are you actually dangerous, Fufu? Most probably, given the whole Yakuza thing, but still. I don't know. I need more proof that you're actually a bad guy, because you seem to be pretty damn nice. Yo. Uh, what happened, Haji? Don't waste your energy wandering around. What should I do, Shannon Fat Fufu? Hey, of course you damn should! Right. W well, I guess it's not so bad talking to you once in a while. You know, twice a day might be a bit much, but it it's fine. It it's cool. <laughs> I spent time today talking to Fufu about various things. Looks like Fufu and I grew a little closer again. Oh, would you like to give him more antique dolls? Most definitely. I wonder what else he would like. Uh, how about that? Skip it. I should be getting close. I know it's over here by the game stuff, right? There it is. Yes, antique doll. This is for you. What'd you say? Are, are you seriously okay with that? I mean, do you have any idea what this thing is worth? It's just, it's a doll, dude. <laughs> Man, I don't know what to say. I never thought I'd get something so amazing at a place like this. Haji, I'll never forget this favor. Damn right. Hey, Haji. Uh, what? Uh, never mind, it's nothing. Huh? Now I wanna know. Shut up! What? Mind your own business. You're the one who approached me with this, man. I mean, I came at you with an antique doll and everything, but still. I'm just, you know, looking for something. Huh? I mean, shut the fuck up! It's not like I'm looking for anything! Uh, he's strange on edge, you just said, but okay. Jeez. Spit it out, man. Damn it, if I just had that, I wouldn't feel so pissed off. Someone's always at the supermarket, so I can't just calm down and go Damn look for it. it. Shit, I feel like I'm gonna throw going through a draw or something. He's starting to sound a little dangerous, but this means there's something he wants, right? What can I give you? Huh, Fufu? I got an entire bag of presents. Just tell me what you need. <laughs> what in the world is Fufu looking for? Vitamin C? Calcium? Something sweet, maybe? I'm pretty sure this is wrong, but do you want to eat something sweet? I think I have some, like, sugary shit. I got, like, um, cinnamon tea, I think. Is cinnamon tea sweet? What? Um, how, how, how do you know that? Uh, what? I, I seriously got that right? You just want to eat sweet things, but you don't want to look like a child because you want sweet things, right? You want to be all mature and shit. If you tell anyone about that, I'm going to bury you next to the mountain over there. There's no mountains in here. Y you don't have to be so angry. I like sweet things too. Um, sweet things calm your nerves and they also nourish your brain. So it's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> But, but still, look at him! Look at his blush! <laughs> ah, it would be embarrassing if anyone knew that the heir of the clan likes eating fried dough cookies. Fried dough cookies. Do I have anything? No, that's my wrong button. Do I have anything like that? Presents, presents! What do I have in my food book? I got chocolate chip jerky, some baguettes, a cake, sweet bun bag filled with various sweet breads, maybe? That might, that might. Yeah. All the same. So I didn't find that point right now. We're in the middle of a conversation. Fried dough cookies. I like fried dough cookies too. They taste better when you eat them with milk. Bastard! Most cookies do. Hey, you bastard! Never you... ever say that again. That. What? Milk? Cookies? What? Huh? Fried dough cookies? Don't fuck with no, me. the other one! Oh, milk? Didn't you hear what I just said? I'll seriously fucking bury you. <laughs> this is bad. His eyes look real intense. I never seen anyone get so mad over milk. Uh, are you lactose intolerant? Damn it! Damn it! If only my guy <laughs> he is. <laughs> if only my guts were stronger. Even I could have. Shit! I want to swallow it all in one gulp, you know. But with my height. What? But. He really doesn't have to be so hostile towards milk. There's only- there's other ways to get calcium. We can get you some vitamins? I mean, you know. I don't know if this is a good time to say something like that, yeah. though. Ah, uh, you laughed, didn't you? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, you're definitely laughing. It doesn't show on your face, but I can tell you're laughing on the inside. Damn it, you... I won't for let you forget this. Fufu mumbled under his breath as he walked away in a hurry. Oh, well, that was an unexpected side of Fufu. When he talks like that, it's like he's a completely normal guy for his age. In fact, oops, it might be dangerous to even think about completing that thought. <laughs> Fufu's report card has been updated and we get more hope fragments. Yay! <laughs> After watching Fufu leave, I return to my room. 
There should be some more time for me to move around more freely. Ah, oh, so tempting. We're going to go spend some more time with Fufu. Stop, this isn't your room. You don't live in the lounge. Get it straight. Go back to your crummy little, this thing, your hovel. This is your room, Haji. All right, but uh, yeah. All right, next time we're going to go spend some more time with Fufu. But like I said, these episodes are going to be a little shorter for the next two weeks. So yeah, it's a thing. Um, but okay. So we got to get to know Fufu a little bit more. And it's more or less what we expected. Like on the outside, he has to be the big old, oh, I'm a tough Yakuza bastard. Fuck you, bitches. And all that stuff. But on the inside, he's all like, I want to drink milk, but I can't. And I like dolls and cookies. Oh God, I'm so... I'm manly, but I need to be manly for the sake of my name type thing, which is adorable and I'm loving it. And I'm also loving the whole Gundam and Sonya mechanic thing, like my little BF buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he is getting with the princess. Oh my god, so unexpected, so totally awesome. Adore it so freaking much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and he referred to the girls as kittens. Oh my god, Gundam is just... Oh, him and Fufu. Him, Fufu, Chiaki. They are my current top three. No particular order there. No one, well, I guess Fufu can technically be number one, but Chiaki and Gundam are tied for second place, all right? <laughs> oh my god, love and adore it. So much fun. But yeah, we're going to have to end the episode here for today. Next time we're going to go spend some more time with Fufu. Then I guess we're going to try to get the hell out of this place. And until then, you know, like and subscribe if you guys want to. And thank you for watching. <laughs>